Today we will show you how to diagnose the ultra high water temp alarm of chiller CWFL2000. Please pay close attention. First, turn on the chiller. When the machine is in normal cooling mode and the fan starts, feel the airflow with your hand. If the fan doesn't run, touch the middle of the fan to check. If there's no warm felt, it may indicate a lack of voltage to the fan. If there is temperature but the fan doesn't work, it may be that the fan is stuck because, under normal circumstances, the fan blows out the hot wind. If it blows out cold wind, you need to remove the side panel and further investigate the cooling system. Next, touch the compressor accumulator to check for faults. Under normal conditions, you should feel a regular slight vibration from the compressor. Abnormal vibration suggests compressor failure or a blockage in the cooling system. If there's no vibration at all, further investigation is needed. Touch the dryer filter and capillary. Under normal circumstances, both should feel warm. If they are cold, it may indicate a blockage in the cooling system or refrigerant leakage. Next, remove the insulation cotton and touch the temperature of the copper pipe at the evaporator inlet. In normal cooling mode, the copper pipe should feel icy cold. If it feels warm, open the solenoid valve for further inspection. Use a wrench to loosen the solenoid valve screw. Observe the temperature change of the copper pipe after removing the solenoid valve. If the copper pipe becomes cold, it indicates a malfunctioning temp controller. If there is no change in copper temperature, it suggests a faulty solenoid valve core. If the copper pipe has frost, it may indicate a blockage in the cooling system. If there is an oily leak around the copper pipe, it may indicate refrigerant leakage. In such cases, it is necessary to seek a professional welder or send the chiller back to the factory for welding the cooling system. Follow me for more 2 USNA chiller maintenance tips.